Today in the news, it looks like RDNA 2 will have plenty of time to ripen. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. The company has been pretty good at staying away from refreshing products lately. I mean, back in the day, they used to do it for every generation and on pretty much all of their product stack. The Radeon 7970 gigahertz edition was just a 7970 clocked at a gigahertz. The 290X went on to become the 390X with an overclock. The RX 480 Polaris 10 became the 580 Polaris 20 became the 590. Granted, it did move from 14 nanometer to 12 12 nanometer, but it was the same GPU. And I mean, the rest of the lineup for these GPUs was pretty much always a rebrand. Let's just say that AMD knew how to recycle. But in the last two generations, despite some rumors, we didn't see any refreshes on the GPU side. The RX 5000 series was brand new, and as far as we know, the current and upcoming RX 6000 GPUs are all freshly squeezed RDNA 2 cards. Well, it looks like this winning streak might be over. The information comes from Twitter leaker Greymon55, and it says that with the next generation, aka the uh, RX 7000 series, we can expect a couple of refreshes. Now, we'll still have RDNA 3 cards, a brand new architecture on the 5 nanometer process that should feature a lot of improvements, and of course, the first apparition of AMD's chiplet technology for consumers. But this architecture might be limited to the highest of the high end models. That would be Navi 31 and Navi 32, or what we expect would be the uh, RX 7900 series and the RX 7800 series. There's also a chance that Navi 33 will be RDNA 3, but we'll talk about that in a second. According to Greymon 55's information, the RX 7900 series, based on Navi 31, is the highest end. In this chart by 3dcenter.org, they assumed that it would be between $1,000 and $1,500. Then we have Navi 32. Once again, RDNA 3, 5 nanometer, with an estimated price point of about $600 to $1,000. These two series of cards would have multi-chip designs. Then we have Navi 33. It would be a monolithic design, but based on RDNA 3. 3D Center estimates it at around 450 bucks. This would be the RX 7700 series. Greymon also mentions that Navi 33 could be at six nanometers instead of five, like Navi 31 or Navi 32. So that's it for all the brand new GPUs. And this is where we get our refreshes. Navi 22, 23, and the upcoming Navi 24 would all be coming back, this time possibly as the RX 7400, 7500, and RX 7600. These refreshes would range between $150 to $350 respectively. At the very least, they will still have an upgrade in the form of a newer process node, so they would be refreshed using the 6 nanometer process from TSMC or N6. They'll be able to produce more chips as other companies transition into the smaller nodes, and maybe the pricing will normalize at that point. Plus, it really isn't a new tactic from AMD. Like I said at the start of the video, AMD has done this before. Just check the wiki for the 400 and 500 series of GPUs. The only difference now is that there are sort of better versions like the Vega 56 and 64 uh, still carry the same name, the 1000 series. And anyways, the last thing that was mentioned in this rumor is that uh, they would go back to all brand new cards with no refresh when we reach the generation after that or now Navi 4X. It would apparently have more chip models, so probably Navi 41 to 44. What do you guys think about this? Are you with or against a refresh in the next year or so if the price was similar to what was mentioned in the rumor? Let me know down below. And that's pretty much it for the catch up, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Oh, it's a glowing button this time. To subscribe to the channel, stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Rolling them dice, I love it, I love it, I'm fine. Canvas for faces, I'm painting these pictures of mine.